Bismillah Rahmani Rahim. Dear viewers, today I am going to show how to export the 3D model from eTabs to Revit. After finalizing the uh, member sections in eTabs according to the design, we can export the model into Revit for detailing purpose. So, using the CSI X Revit 2019, we will do it now. So, let's start. File Export Revit Structure EXR file. We will save it as any name like this or this for Revit. Then save. Yes. Okay. Then we will open Revit. Okay. We will open new file. We will start with instructional template. Okay. Then we will go to add ins. After installing the CSI X Revit 2019, there will be this option external tool. Import to create new Revit project from eTabs, save for SAP 2000 file. So we will click on this, and here is the here is our file exported from eTabs. We will select this one, then open. Then here we will not import loads here. We will import frame wall floor slab here one frame section unavailable in Revit that means here is L section in ETAPS that is unavailable in Revit it is showing the warning we can model that L column in Revit later no problem we will click on OK according to the model size and frame section frame and shell section number it will take a little bit time adding frame member here frame member is frame member number 812 floor 546 because we have divided the slabs in eTabs so that division of floor number total number is 500 something here adding wall if there is any shallow it will be added in Revit ok data transfer completed and the stair added as wall there Now we can see the 3D view. This is showing with the analytical model also. See here, this is the analytical model. This is the 3D view. If you we don't want to see the analytical shade here, we can go to display graphics analytical model category select all then click on here then apply ok so now here the analytical graphics will not be seen shown you can see it clearly so this is this is the eTabs model exported to the Revit front Okay. Here, the stair in Revit is not similar like eTabs. It, in eTabs, we see the stair is like ramp, but in Revit, we can model the real stair and then we can detail that one. So, the eTabs exported stair will not be modeled in Revit accordingly we have to do it manually but other shell column beam 
all members share all members will be exported very easily from ETAPS to Revit using CSIX Revit add-in or the additional app software apps or software now here for L column we can go to the create beam first we will create the floor plans go to view then plan view floor plan all we will do it do not duplicate existing views okay we will create floor plan here is the floor, floor plan great beam around floor roof okay so here we can provide our L column to create L column I will show new family okay go to structural column open then delete everything okay now we will create extrusion we will pick line and we will create offset here 5 inch ok depth we will not be worried about this later on we will adjust this one 5 inch this side this side this side and this side here 5 5 10 here we want to add more 10 ok now we will add 10 this side and this side also 10 ok now we will trim this like this So this is our L column shape. Okay. Now we will create annotate. First we will create uh, the family category, or family type. Here we will add our length, length, this type. Okay then small length then depth small depth ok then centroid x then centroid y ok we will keep this up length small length depth small depth centroid x and y now we will do it length is 20 inch depth is 20 inch small depth 10 inch as we have modeled here 10 inch centroid from this edge to this 5 inch x and this edge to this one this 15 inch ok now we will annotate annot annot these things this short depth this depth this is length this is short length and this is centroid x and this is centroid y now we will click on this centroid x click on this centroid y this is small depth this is depth 
this is small length and this is length okay now we can save this save as family not here we will go to program data to disk revit here family template initiate okay here we can i have done it before also that's why it is here i can overwrite this one save yes save okay and this one i will see front okay this one i need to make it up to this upper reference level so i will do it like this select this one then click on this so then now this save this family okay now load you can, you can load into project this l column now we will go to great name we will delete these columns to model our l column now we can model that l column click on here click on this this one we can make it 12 inch we can make it duplicate l column 2 okay now 12 12 to fit this one fit this six inch and this one fit six inch okay so now this is l column having the short depth 12 inch and depth 24 inch short uh, small length 12 inch and full length 24 inch now we can copy this one here we will rotate this one move this this is the centroid and put in on the grid then these two we can mirror here okay then we can move this to this is the centroid here in this way we can model l column in revit after exporting the regular shaped column from etfs to revit please note that for modeling purpose i have mentioned centroid to mean the point of l column to be inserted into the grid joint Actually, geometric centroid of L column will be little bit moved from that insert point. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more tutorials. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update.